guys today I'm gonna show you how I put on my lashes because I have a lot of people that say that it's too hard and I think it does get take some practice and like getting used to but there's a few tricks that I found that have really helped me a lot so I want to share that with you real quick so before we get into anything it's really important to have a quality lash so if you're gonna get like a a pair of lashes from the dollar store or like five below or whatever don't do that and if they look like they're literally like straight like this they don't even curve just don't do it okay invest in a good pair and they don't even have to be expensive like Ardell makes really good ones um, I have some right here these are Ardell I think yeah the ones below that are not Ardell but I was just using the, um, this case to store them I do also really like this brand, Virago Babe. So these are about 25 or 30, I think. But you can re reuse them like all the time. So I don't know how many times I've worn these a lot. Um, and if you're just like careful with them and stuff, you're good. But the Ardell ones, you can literally get like a pack of four, four pairs and they're still just as good. Um, they're just not as fluffy as, as the Virago Babe ones, but their quality, like as far as like putting them on, is good. Next thing we want to do, we want to make sure that we fit them to our eyes. So the tools that I like to use, you want to have a pair of little scissors, and then you also want to have a pair of, well I like to use tweezers because I keep my nails kind of long-ish, so, but I mean you can kind of use your, your fingers too. But I like to use tweezers. There's also another type of tweezers. I don't know where mine are, but they're the ones that have the curve. I personally don't like those because I feel like it's harder for me. I like to use the precision of the tweezers. So you'll see why in a second. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to pull the lash with my tweezers from the outer edge and then pull it out and you want the lashes to fit so I clip them in the middle and I sort of start fitting them to see where they need to get cut and so I would not place the lash all the way to the inner corner here because that's gonna poke your eye um, and then you can just kind of go I would say somewhere about here where your lashes start but these have already been fitted to me. I don't have a pair that's like too long. But so let's say that if I was putting my lashes in like it poked out like this. So then you would know that you want to cut off a little bit. Make sure that you're always trimming from the outer edge. Because what happens with lashes, they are tapered. So they go from longer. They go from longer to shorter. So if you trim the shorter pieces, you're gonna have this one lash that's like super long everywhere. And then I feel like it doesn't look natural. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna trim them piece by piece because you can take away but you can't add. So you won't, it's better to do it little by little than cut off too much and then you're like screwed. So these, you see these little chunks? They would be like, piece by piece so you can cut them where did my scissors go so what you would do is let's say that you need to trim it off a little bit you would cut one section and then another as you need and then keep fitting to see once you've done this one time then as you reuse these obviously you don't need to do it again so don't worry about having to do this every single time unless you just get a new pair of lashes that you need to fit and that's literally their trick to getting your lashes on is a good um, glue so I know a lot of people use the duo I don't think I've ever used it so I can't recommend it um, actually I do have a new bottle that I decided to try for duo this is like I guess supposed to dry black or dark um, but I haven't used that and I don't want to test it on camera right now but the one that I have used that has been working really well for me I love this one actually because it's white but it dries as it starts getting tacky. It's like more of a bluish purplish color and that's how I know that it's ready to be placed on my lash. 
versus like if a lash glue is clear and it stays clear it's like you have to feel it like anyway so um yeah so what I'm gonna do the other one that I also use is this one it's called Cardani C-A-R-D-A-N-I from Amazon and then this one is I think I got it from the drugstore I don't think it really has a name it's just a strip lash adhesive with aloe vera I don't remember where I got this so what I would do and I actually prefer the lash glue that's like this versus the one where it's like in a tube because this one gives you more control so what I do I have my lash and then I just go ahead and place on top now you want to make sure that you're not putting it kind of like on the if you imagine your lash is going up so this is where this is where it's gonna stick to your eye so you want to make sure that that's where you're putting it on the band and I mean don't cake it on but also don't be super um, I mean I like to just I like to have a good amount to be honest I know some people are like put a thin line on I like it to be really like on my eye so what I actually do because this takes maybe longer than 30 seconds to be honest so I'll take a flat surface so let's say this for example and this is hard to show on the camera like right now but I have like a little bottle of concealer for example that's like heavy and so what I'll do while I'm waiting for this to dry I place it down with because the lashes are curved and then I'll place the concealer just like on those lashes so that it gets to dry while my hands are free to do something else like the rest of my makeup or whatever it is that I'm doing and that way the, the glue doesn't stick to the actual surface of whatever the thing is so then the next thing I'm gonna do while that's drying I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on my second pair of lashes and I'll show you guys what I mean by like the color changing and like when to know that it is ready so you want to make sure if you're not using this type of glue that changes color um, and you know it's you just gonna have to figure out when by like trial and error you just have to figure out how long it takes for the glue to dry or get tacky sorry because that's also a huge huge tip if the if the glue gets tacky then it's so much easier to pop them on and you're good to go and then if it's not tacky enough then that's where you end up moving it around and like it's not good so right now it's kind of still whitish but I can see a little bit of like a blue tint to it it'll get a little darker than this and that's how I know and off camera it looks more white than it does on camera I don't know why it looks so blue but um, yeah once it gets more of a bluish purplish color then I know that it's ready for me to place on my eye okay while I'm waiting for that to dry I want to give you a tip so you can go ahead and coat your eyelashes especially if you have like lighter colored lashes um, with just a light color light coat of mascara just so that when you put the lashes on they blend better um, but the thing is for me I the reason I prefer to put lashes on is because I just hate washing off mascara at the end of the night so what I do I'll take like a felt tip um, liquid liner so after I put my lashes on because like I'm doing my powder and my foundation my lashes always look a little bit powdery and like they have a coating on them so you can just clean them up if you want and then what I do instead of putting on mascara after the lashes are on and they're pretty like dry and settled in 
I go and I kind of just use the felt tip eyeliner to darken. I'll show you this at the end, but I just wanted to give you a little heads up. Another little tip that I have is when you're putting the glue on the band, make sure you really get the outer corner and the inner corner because that's really the most important. Like obviously it's important to get it to stick on the whole lash, but if you have glue that's not really sticking to your outer corner or the inner corner, that's when you'll see it kind of like coming out a little bit. So you can sort of get away when you have a piece of lash that's not necessarily sticking in the middle somewhere, but if you have the outer corner that's not sticking, then you can't really get away with that. Like from the side, you're gonna be able to see it really quick. So that's another little tip that I have too. And if you're in a rush, and you just cannot wait for your glue to sit there and, and get tacky, you can take a blow dryer and just blow dry it. Like, I've tried blowing on it myself, but I find that the heat from the blow dryer is obviously so much quicker. So, there's a little tip for that too. Um, real quick disclaimer, I just found my real Ardell lashes, so I don't know what these are. They're probably Ardell, just a different one. But this one that I showed you earlier in the video, um, it's actually their Faux Mink collection. And this is what they look like. They're super fluffy compared to this one. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. These are like more fluffy. I wish I had found these earlier, but it's okay. So this is starting to get pretty tacky and in some areas it's starting to disappear which means that I need to get these on my eyes like ASAP so I'm gonna try to try to do this as gracefully as I can um, alright so here's what we're gonna do when you're putting on your lash obviously you want to do it in the mirror um, and then what I like to do I like to tilt my head and then it really gives me a good idea of where to place and this mirror is this is magnified so it makes it even easier okay so tilt my head and then I'm gonna place where I want my lash and I'm gonna align it with the outer one that's like where it's gonna end obviously so So first what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the lash from the middle of the lash, like on the outside, and I'm placing it and sticking it, like once I know where it's going, I'm sticking the middle first, okay? And then I'm going to adjust the outer corner and the inner corner and that's it. So literally if you can practice this, it'll be so easy. So then what you want to do... What I like to do with these tweezers is I don't go and grab where the band is. I'm grabbing sort of like a couple of the lash sections, like, you know, the sections that I showed you earlier. I'm grabbing like a couple of them. That way it gives me more control to move the, the band. And I'm grabbing it from kind of like the middle. So you don't want to grab all the way where the lash band is because that's where the glue is and then it'll get stuck to your tweezers and then you're going to be like going and playing tug of war. So the outer edge is good. Now I'm going to switch my hand. Now I'm doing this without like eyeliner on, which that's why it's taking me a little bit longer because I want, I need to have it with like more precision. But if you're just a beginner, it's actually a great tip to line your eyes first with, you know, the black eyeliner. That way it gives you more wiggle room.
Okay, so I can see the glue back there. So I actually did put too much. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll go over it with some black eyeliner towards the end when I know that it's like nice and secure. This one, again, same thing. So here's what I mean. Here's the lash. I'm taking the tweezers and I'm grabbing it from where the middle. So don't go all the way up to the lash band. Same thing, tilt the head. I'm going to place it sort of like where the outer one is. Grab the lashes here. And I'm really kind of pushing it in to make sure the glue is like on the lid. Same thing. You don't want to put the lash band on your lashes. You want it to be on the lid that's like the right right next to the to the lashes. And I kind of like to the inner corner. I kind of like to bend it a little bit so that it blends better with my lash line. And that it doesn't look like this like stick just like sticking out. Now, sometimes I do have that happen, so what I'll do, I'll take a little um, thin, I have this liquid liner, it's like super thin, I got this actually from outside the country, it's really thin and small, so I can just go and like extend that line to blend it better so it doesn't look like my lash is going like this and my eyes <laughs> going like that. So I would recommend you find something. I wish I could tell you what brand this is. I have no idea. Okay. So. Now I'm just going to make sure that this is all good. And then. Next little trick is... So I'll go ahead and take my liquid liner, this one's thin, and I think it works best if you have something that's easy to apply that doesn't give you a lot of um, issues when you're doing it. So what I like to do, I like to go fill in, so then from there you can, like I said, go and like darken your actual real lashes so that they blend in with the lashes better, but what I also like to do, I like to go and fill in the tiny little space that even though as much as I tried to get this as precise as possible, you know, with my lashes and the actual strip lashes, there's still going to be a little bit of a gap. So I like to fill that gap with a little bit of eyeliner. So what I obviously can't just go like this. So I just go and like fill it in kind of like dotting it in between each lash. Just kind of like that. This one, I think, is like dried out. Let me get a new one. Hopefully this works better. So I can also tell that here it looks like my eye is just stopping. So I'll show you real quick what I like to do. Is I'll go and like extend that line. And I'm not going to talk while I do this just to make sure that it looks good. I know. Still need to get that huge piece of glue. I should not have put so much. Let me try another pair, I mean another eyeliner. I got, I had three of these and I think it's time for them to be done. Okay, yeah, this one's so much better.
So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one's a little fuller and blends in better and then this one's just not. So next thing I'm going to do is go in on top of the lashes with liner again and I'm going to try to do this uh, there so I'm not trying to create an extra line I'm just trying to cover the glue And that is basically it. Um, let's see. Where's the cap? Okay. So that's basically it. Can you see the difference with this one and this one? So this one's more full. And all I did was fill in between the lash and then just on the top of the band to cover the glue. And that's it. So that's how I do it. It took me a little bit longer um, than it normally would just because I was talking and like explaining things. But I encourage you to try this. Let me know if any of the tips help, if you have any questions, um, and if this is helping you maybe get your lash game on. So that's it, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll be showing more little tips and tricks that I have that um, hopefully can help you as well. Bye, guys.